If there are no more questions at the moment for Tanya, I hope uh, that towards the end of the webinar we will have more uh, time for questions. Um, I would like to invite Chuka. Um, would you like to proceed with your presentation? Yes. Thank you. Um, yes, so I'll tell you about HSL and uh, Mobility as a Service and our current uh, project called Open Mobility as a Service. To be in with Mobility as a Service, it's a kind of new concept uh, being pushed strongly in Finland at the moment. The very core of the idea it is to remove the need to own a car um, by giving suitable mobility uh, available whenever you need it. Uh, so I see uh, that as the next step of, of public transport. Uh, a big problem currently is that when you need a car sometimes, then you buy one and afterwards it's then easier to always use it instead of choosing to use the car when you really need it and use public transport otherwise. So um, how to make uh, suitable mobility available for everyone all the time? Uh, we need to bring together the different modes of transport. Uh, we already have done that for um, public transport, buses and trains and so on but we haven't properly uh, integrated new, new types of uh, uh, car, car sharing services such as uh, uh, yeah, taxi, car sharing, Uber, and so on. So this, is the, this is the gist of, of mobility as a service. And uh, what does HSL, Helsinki Regional Transport Authority, to, uh, regarding this, um, like traditionally, we take care of the, the public transport part of this this um, um, sector. So we plan and organize the public transport network, um, we procure the different modes of transport. So we don't own the vehicles, but we make the contracts and so on with the operating companies. And um, yeah, we are also responsible for for the marketing and passenger information to give a, a unified view into into the different routes and different uh, modes of public transport. And uh, yeah, ticket sales is is one more area where you need to have this unified view, so you can use a single ticket and make transfers during a, a single trip to different modes. And um, where we are with uh, open data, so as a public public authority, uh, one of our tasks is then to publish open data uh, regarding uh, what we do and we have a long history of doing this, uh, um, almost 20 years now. Um, and like Tanya explain this move more to, to open APIs. Uh, we have also uh, uh, been doing that for maybe 10 years now. So um, we have this platform called digitransit.fi, um, which includes the open data and it includes the open APIs and also open source code for uh, creating a journey planner, such as the one that we provide official journey planner for, for our customers. And with this stack of, of openness, uh, we then uh, welcome all kinds of innovation. You can innovate based on our data or based on our APIs or based on the uh, ready-made source code that we publish for others to build on top of. But what is missing from that open data is the ticket part. So I have here included some screenshots of what our mobile ticket looks like in, in our uh, mobile application. So you can choose to buy a single ticket or a day ticket or a 30-day ticket and then you choose your customer group 
and the zones that you need and how you pay it. And after that, you get this it's an animated, animated and the colors are changing in the ticket so that it's not so easy to, to forge it, make copies of it. So this is what you would show to the driver when you enter a bus and this way we would be sure that you have paid for your trip. And now um, Mobility as a Service enters this picture so that the first two screens um, another service can make differently. Uh, but the, from the third screen they will still get the same uh, 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 reliable uh, ticket view, which can be used to show that yes, they have paid the ticket or someone else has paid the ticket for them. And the API, when you want to sell these tickets in, in your own service, is this open mass API, uh, this address salesapi.hsl.fi. It's an open API, meaning that anyone can and enter their um, business credit card information and start selling these tickets. So uh, you don't need to make uh, or uh, contract negotiations or anything like that. So this is lowering the barrier for for new uh, mobility service businesses to very much uh, wish that we get a lot of new types of mobility services here in Helsinki region. And here I listed some examples of what the business models for the new mobility service businesses could be. You could sell a monthly package that would include public transport and these other modes, for instance, a certain amount of taxi trips or whatever you should need. Uh, so what happens there? saying monthly packages, yes, including the different forms of public transport and others. Or then it could be a sales channel for a specific focus group, such as in this Tencent case, it's these uh, Chinese tourists. We as a public prepare to serve all the uh, these types of special groups uh, the most effectively. And then it's very nice that, uh, for instance, Tencent now uh, focus is on it's the best service for them. Um, then one typical case goes into complete trips. So it could be uh, a long distance train, uh, then a flight to another city, destination city. So you could go door to door. Currently, anywhere in the future, if this spreads throughout Europe then within Europe and uh, you could get it all from the single service that you chose and it will buy the, the tickets for you for all the legs of, of the complete trip. And last, it's not only um, the, the travel part but mobility is often connected to a theater or attend and uh, why not why not combine it so that the hassle of parking at the sports event would be solved so that your sports ticket actually includes includes this uh, uh, service of getting you there without you having to uh, and then having to organize it also. Yeah, that's what that was more or less uh, what I wanted to to present. Thank you very much, Tuka. Um, and um, it, it gets really clear where where a lot of benefits lie. Initiatives that um, you are running, also movement towards the monthly packages that um, you have to. 
uh, have a monthly package that ensures mobility and leaves the freedom to decide the, the mode of mobility. Um, uh, that's uh, very interesting. But I'm, um, what I would like to know is when you about um, that you are and having contracts with them, and I could imagine that this has difficulties, um, especially in terms of um, of the data from your um, operating partners as open data. Is that something you put? Can you say something about that? So you agree to a terms of service when you register to the API, and part of it is that uh, you will provide us anonymized uh, data about users are using using our tickets. That's that's the basic basic case. That, uh, that's interesting and um, really great to see how you actively enable new businesses um, to in enlarge the market. And um, uh, questions for Tuka. I will question um, if we are sharing these slides. So, um, as I said, the webinar will be openly uh, published, so the slides can be replayed. Um, and since they are not my, I would um, uh, put the question on, on Tuka and Tanya if you would like to share these slides in any other form than within this webinar. Um, to uh, Fly yeah. to Sumia, can't you? Yeah, that's All yeah, right. Yes. Yeah, Babel has one question regarding this SMS uh, buying. Oh, yeah, exactly. Right. Yes, so, um, yes, we all also um, had this, but now we have moved to, to uh, mobile applications because uh, it gives us much more uh, options in making it. For instance, tying uh, the route suggestion to which ticket you need to to uh, travel on on that specific route. Could you talk up tell us very slowly about the win of the mass mass producers, <laughs> the providers, mass service providers. Yes, so there's a mass global, and they have a web app, a native application, mobile application called WIM, and they um, implemented exactly this monthly package for your uh, mobility within Helsinki region, including public transport and some taxi trips per month, and uh, for car rental when you need to rent a car and drive outside the area, for instance. That's interesting. Thank you very much. Um, are there any more questions at the moment? I don't see uh, anything, so um, I'd like to give the stage to Benedict now.